Hi guys, going back to Suzuki, to um, Suzuki GS500 DRYs, and today I'm going to be um, changing over a um, changing over a petcock from my tank because the one I've got in there isn't so isn't so great, and um, well you'll be able to see you'll be able to um, see it. But um, for the minute, I'm going to be doing, a, uh, for the first point, the I'll show you, thing. I'm going to have to take the seat off so that I can get to these panels here, take them off on either side, then once I've done that, then what I will have to do is then <clears throat> turn this tap off I might as well do it now and undo this like um, clamp that clamps the hose to actual tap undo that and have a jerry can ready for putting the fuel from in here into it and once as much as, as it has come out then to take the tank off which are two bolts which is behind here and then to take it off so let's get on with it so for this point I'm going to need to undo this which is as far as I can remember a 10 mil don't think it will focus there you go, 10 mil socket, which will fit on there. Get an extender. And then, get a ratchet. Obviously, other bars I know, Suzuki's, or GS500 Suzuki's are the same size, but they could be different. Then take it off. I almost forgot to do that. I sorry, isn't it? The other one has gone walkies. Settle that over there. Put that there. So now this is free. Come out. Very difficult to do one ended. That's that piece off. Try to be best lay on the floor. And then so that I don't lose the bolts. Put that back in. Not all the way. Same for the other side. Then to just gonna loosen them up so then that way once I have taken that off and drained the petrol, then all I've got to do is put them on here for the time being. So they will they will most likely be a no not a 13, 12 mil. That's it. Just, yep. And basically do the same for the other side. So now that both nuts, no bolts, get it right. Now that both bolts are undone, I'm gonna take them out. 
Just put them into those sections just for a minute. Just so she don't lose them. Now what I've got to do now is using a pair of um, pliers to undo that. Put it there. Same with the other one. So this one just there. Going to move that over and basically use this to wedge this thing downwards. So you that to that way. But I can't put one end so um, this is how it's gonna go so far. I've got I've got that the um, petrol pipe off. It is away from behind here and I've just Fill that jerry can, as you can see there. But um, that's pretty much filled up. So what I'm going to do, what to do, is what, whilst I've done that for now, I'm going to use a straight head screwdriver. And if you can see, there is a the old pet cock with the word saying on. All I've got to do is get a straight head into that gap and then turn it clockwise until the line reaches the off. So that's what I'm going to do now. That is at the off position. What I've got to do now is obviously keep it on the tank, make sure it doesn't fall. What I've got to do now is disconnect this and that pipe. And hopefully the remainder of the petrol I can try and catch in here and then that way I can bring this into back I can then bring this into back garden and change the pet cock. Alright so now both pipes are off and there I tried to catch whatever I could in there so now there's probably still some petrol in there but not a lot so all I do now is take um, probably bring this around the back more bits probably cover the bike up again and also have the tank around the back so this is my little setup I've got this on an angle so that all the petrol can hopefully sit on the bottom and all I've got to do now is unscrew that and that and stop it for this and spanking new one um, I believe this cost about um, just over £21, but it's all the way from, like, um, all the, way from the US, and um, obviously it cost, um, I think it cost nearly £10 for shipping, so all together it cost about £31 sort of thing, but in, in a minute I'll show you the actual comparison. pH free, if that means anything, not sure. So the longer one will go, by the looks of it, on the longer one of that. And then the shorter one will clip onto that one, by the looks of it. So long one, long pipe, this long pipe on here, the short pipe onto the short one. Looks like it'll be fairly easy to remember. Long one, long, short one, short.
unfortunately that is the old one not too clever just want to see <laughs> made a difference in colour but it also doesn't have the little um, like filter bit on the sides so anything that kind of does drop off and like any kind of rust or anything is going to um, is going to um, not do very well with the engine so that's why I'm swapping it so brand new one nice new seal and everything So the long pipe is going to go on this one and the short one is going to go on this one. Nice new filter. Hopefully it will go well. I need a very little bit on the actual thread of it so is that it'll go in nice and easy and plus in future if I do have to um, take it out take it off for any reason then it won't be so tough to get out So that's what it's looking like so far. Just basically bolted on. As far as I know, I didn't need any um, treatment or anything. So all I do now is put the pipes back on, and hopefully um, put it all, all, all back on the bike again.
Okay, so now that is the two pipes back on. Now to get it back on the bike again. All there is to do is just to reinstall it. Make sure that the pipes go around through and attach to the um, tap. And then to Now the pipes are on, all we do is get the clips come back onto the actual tap itself. All reinstalled. I had a quick put together. bike all filled up well not quite filled up but from the jerry can back, fuel back in let's give it a start up let's give it a choke first Hopefully, no. 
bit that I'm not meant to be in there, in the engine, I'm not meant to be in there. And so, um, a nice bit of a change of a um, petcock. So um, I, I've tried to um, do my own little bit of YouTube searching and I couldn't really find anything. But um, if this if this did did help you and you found uh, found it interesting and um, I showed you of um, of what you wanted to know, then give it give it a like and um yeah i'll be thinking about doing more videos try to do some more videos of um of the rys of a suzuki gs 500 so um i hope you enjoyed um up to you if you subscribe it'd be it'd be, it'd be cool it'd be awesome if if you did and um i'll catch you next time